This is how I'm feeling today after running this bot for almost a month now. In case you can't tell, I'm doing the robot dance. But then again, every dance that I do is a robot dance since I'm a robot. Hey guys, this is Andre from Cryptomaton and for the past month I've been testing a cryptocurrency trading bot that aims to buy a new coin the moment it's being listed on Binance. I have some really exciting news after over a month of testing, trial and error, it's finally profitable. The bot actually made a profit on a new coin, but not in the way that you would expect. So stick around and let's talk about it. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Now let's jump into it. And just a quick side note guys, the algorithm is open source and I've included the links to the GitHub repo as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how to implement this on my blog below. So make sure to check down the description links, the really good research says they're free. And I've also included the test mode so you can actually play around with the algorithm in your own time without having to use real money. Before we take a look at the results, I think it's important for us to first understand how this project came to be and how it's been developed for the past month. So when I first started this project, I thought it would be such an easy thing to just scan the Binance API for new coins um, every 20 seconds and then whenever a new coin gets listed, buy it and that's easy profit, in theory. Um, but the uh, testing proved me wrong. So the first iteration of the bot would buy a coin whenever it, get, it would get listed within 20 seconds of it being listed on Binance. Now that proved to be real slow. So then I build a second version where it would buy a coin within five seconds of it being listed. Still incredibly slow, not quick enough. It would just buy high and sell low. Uh, so then I decided to take all the breaks off of the algorithm and let it loose on the Binance API at a speed of 0.3 seconds from the moment a coin is listed. Now, even this proved to be slow and we cannot go any lower than 0.1 seconds because the Binance API will actually temporarily ban our IP address if you try and do that. So it can't get any lower than that. So I've tested the bot at each of those separate intervals and it turns out that no matter the speed of execution, the bot would still be too slow in order for it to make a profit by buying the moment that it is listed, for example, down here and then selling up here. Okay, so we've determined the fact that the bot cannot possibly make a profit by buying, but that doesn't mean that it cannot make a profit after all. So this is what I did. The first step towards optimizing the strategy and actually creating a potentially profitable strategy was to have a look at how the algorithm has been trading historically. So for that purpose, I have shared the poly USDT chart here uh, and I'll explain exactly how the algorithm has been performing. So this is a pretty good example, but there are a few other coins that it picked up in the past month that have followed a very, very similar approach. So you can see that poly had been listed at 7.2233 at the time of the listing. And then the algorithm, although it did detect this within 0.1 seconds, if you had a guess on this initial big green line, where would you say that the bot managed to place a trade? Bear in mind that this is a one minute candle. If you guessed at the very peak, then you would be right. Even with being able to detect a coin and place a buy order within 0.1 seconds of the coin being listed on Binance, the algorithm managed to actually place the trade at the very peak peak of the green candle. So well, obviously it doesn't take a lot to realize that it was all downhill from there and it actually lost a few percentages until it hit the stop loss. And I've observed this a few more times while in test mode with other coins. GNO was another one um, and WRX was uh, another coin that all followed the same behavior. Although for all intents and purposes, the algorithm is as quick as it can be without being banned by the Binance API. It's still not quick enough in order to place a successful buy order at a low price. Okay, so what I did is I've effectively changed, switched the orders around. Instead of playing spot buy orders, I've decided to place sell orders on margin. And guess what? that actually did work because the coins are being picked up at an all time high and then it's all downhill from there for at least temporarily. This strategy actually proves to be quite efficient. 
So let me share with you the latest result for this bot as well as um, how well it's been doing. Probably the most mind-blowing fact about the margin trading strategy on new coins being listed on Binance is not even the fact that it turned a profit, it's the fact that it turned a profit on a stablecoin listing. That's right, so what you see here is the new coin listing chart for USDP. Now the bot detected that USDP had been listed at 2 a.m. UTC. It placed a sell order uh, and then it bought, it placed a reverse order in order to close the, the sell order. Okay, so things went down a little bit differently this time around. It did not uh, place the sell order at the peak, but rather, which you see, it's exactly two, uh, two USDP. It was actually placed around 1.18 USDP, so around here somewhere. But the good news is that the uh, opposite position was opened even further down at 1.05, which means that within about 0.3 seconds, we have made over 11% in profit. If we have a deeper look at the chart, uh, we can go into the details a bit more. Okay, so this is how things went down chronologically within the algorithm. It detected a bunch of new pairs, but since our algorithm is configured to trade with USDT at the moment, the pair that it was interested in was USDP USDT. Now again, I can't stress enough how fascinated I am at the fact that it bought a stablecoin using another stablecoin and it managed to make 11% profit. So going back to the chronology, it bought USDP USDT with 12.65 USDT per USDP at 1.186. That was the current price of USDP at that time was 1.186 USDT. So that was somewhere around here. And then within, well, within less than a second, it sold USDP to USDT at minus 11%. So I've made a note that negative is good. So what this means is that the difference between the price at which, we, at which it bought compared to the price at which it uh, closed the order is smaller so if you're placing a sell order at a higher price and then obviously closing the sell order at lower price that will mean that you are making profit so in this case the difference between the price it opened and the price it closed the position is 11.4 percent which means that we have effectively made 11.4 percent profit on this trade now this is pretty interesting, especially considering the fact that it, it's a stable coin at stake, but I'm more curious to see how the algorithm performs on regular coin listings, not just uh, stable coins. So I'm going to keep testing this and report back with more interesting results. Again, if you want to test this algorithm yourself, please have a look down in the description below. I have a step-by-step -step guide link for you guys, as well as a link to the GitHub repo. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell, um, like this video, and uh, don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitter or uh, message me on Reddit at Cyberpunk Metalhead if we have any specific requests or questions. And lastly, if you have any ideas of which bots you would like to see built and tested next, please leave them down in the comments below. See you next time.